Hi guys, today we are going to be talking about the four best springtime bass baits. Let's get right into this video. To kick it off with number one, we have the bass jig. This is probably one of the most versatile bass lures you'll ever need or get. You can flip this thing into cover, you can flip this thing onto beds, you can swim it. You can do anything with this. So if you're fishing with clear water, you're going to want more like green pumpkin or bluegill. That's better for clear water. However, if you're fishing in muddy water, you're going to want black and blue or some chartreuse. For the trailer, we have a uh, Reaction Renovations Sweet Beaver. It doesn't have the best action, but sure does look like a freaking snack. Next up, for number two, we have the Guggenbaits Bandito Bug. I mean, this thing is awesome. It's almost the same as a jig. You can flip it into cover, you can flip it on a bed, and you can swim the thing. The designer was Scott Martin. You should definitely go check him out, at Scott Martin Challenge on YouTube. He's a pro. He's insane. I mean, how could you not want a lure that's made by a pro? Also, like the Reaction Renovations, it looks like a snack. And number three, we have the frog. You guys know I had to add the frog in here. So we're talking about three different types of frogs. We have the white-bellied frog. Next up, we have the brown-bellied frog. And next up, we have the neon-bellied frog. Let's talk about my favorite. My favorite is the brown-bellied frog because whenever he's coming across the water, you see that brown silhouette. And the bass has no choice but to eat the thing. Next up, we have the neon. Give it a little less of a silhouette, but it's still there. My least favorite is the white-bellied frog. I mean, on a blue sky, it might be good, but on a cloudy day, white sky, the bass isn't going to see anything. It doesn't matter about this. Last, but certainly not least, coming in number four, we have the jerkbait. This is better for when that pre-spawn bite happens. Not much to really talk about this. I'll talk about the colors, though. I'm thinking whenever I choose a jerkbait color, I'm looking more for a silver black top like this one, maybe a little coloring right here, just like this one. I mean, this is a pretty simple jerkbait and it catches fish. Guys, I hope you love that video. I hope you learned something from that video to help you catch those big old mondos. So be sure to like and subscribe to help my channel start growing because we're gonna get this thing all the way to the top. So. I hope you love that video. Be sure to stay tuned for more content and peace.